Boom, boom, boom. Welcome to another episode of External Containment Bureau. This is episode two. I'm joined by the same players we had in the last episode because it would be wild if we changed out the players every time we recorded a new episode. Uh, Nick, what's going on? You're alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, (laughs) Justin feels the need to point that fact out because I just regaled them with some... Very good reasons for me not to be alive. <laughs> but, not accidents, mind you. Not yes. nothing. Yes, but we're happy Nick's alive and with us. It's uh, it's extreme chance, you know. It's uh, yeah. unlikely, but here it is. Look, sometimes you just got to roll the dice with your life and hope that two sixes come up. You actually uh, shouldn't do that. <laughs> just throwing it out there. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> just don't do that. As someone who does PR for a casino, you should roll the dice with your life. <laughs> do it. Because that just house always wins, up. baby. <laughs> That's a reason to not do it. <laughs> Nothing bad has ever happened to anyone who's gambled. Remember that, kids. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't think of Thank any you. stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Gus, how's it? How's the West Coast? Hot? Uh, West Coast is hot. I will say with the energy you brought in on that intro, I felt like you needed a reggaeton horn. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> you just been like the, <laughs> burr, 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 burr. the whole time. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's this show that Rio is really into right now called Gabby Cat's Dollhouse. It's a it's a really good show. It's really cute. Um mm-hmm. And there's a cat, there's a character in that called DJ Cat. And he just speaks in that cadence. And Abby and I will always joke that anytime he says anything, like any line at all, there should be the like, bruh, bruh, bruh. he'll be like, <laughs> hey, it's great to see you, Gabby. Bruh, bruh, bruh. It's just like it has that energy. It's very funny. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's very good stuff. Very good stuff. Will, you're on like the exact opposite. You're in the you're on the East Coast. Yeah, I am. I'm... It's late. It's, it's late. No. I know. I know. It's late. It's I'm late. Very sorry. I is it does the East Coast get hot and and humid? Like, um, it gets yeah. more humid than it doesn't ho- does hot, which is gross. Okay. Yeah. So like today, it wasn't incredibly hot, but it was raining and it was so hot. Someone said it in our Discord. Um, but they had on a sweater. In shorts, and today I had on sweatpants, uh, a button up, and then a sweater on top of it because you know Zoom meetings. Um, yeah, <laughs> and it's just weird here. It's weird, and also I am a car free girly, uh, not by choice, mind you. But so I walk everywhere. But layers <laughs> are very important when it's humid out because if you sweat, you everyone on the street little show, and you're not sweating when you're at your destination. It's true. <laughs> Smart. Those are all, yeah. Those are all true. That makes true sense. Things. That makes sense. Those are all true things. As as someone who's also on the East Coast, I feel like it's important to point out that it is humid everywhere on the East Coast. Yep. But the heat varies depending on how far north mm. or south you are, because it's quite a bit hotter where I am. That, that mm. it's like okay. sweats would have. Ki- if I went out in any kind of sweats, I would have just died today. So. <laughs> oh yeah, I was. I'm, Johnny. I'm you want to roll those So that's. <laughs> I'll yeah. do it. Ah, and I'm always just explaining that we had a week. we had a hurricane in California this past weekend. Oh wow! Right, y'all got yeah. double whammy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was a hurricane and an earthquake. A hurricane. It was fine. Uh, it rained. I think the report said it rained the total amount of a year's worth of rain in one day, which was. Oh, you know, yeah, but you know the plants really need it. You know, it's, it's been... you know what the best part was. We just need it. That's the thing. Dodger Stadium needed to be a pool. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys see the videos out of the Vegas with the water just absolutely flooding through all the streets and stuff? Oh, no, I can't Crazy. imagine. Crazy. It was raining the worst... there while I was there. Actually, hmm. I mean, I think the craziest part was what happened in San Diego. It was the the hurricane warning, and then the mm-hmm. watch out. There's a bunch of tarantulas because it's tarantula maintenance season, so the hurricane <laughs> could pick up the tarantulas and rain tarantulas down in San Diego. Spider. Hold on, Incredible. where's that teacher RPG? Hold on, just to start <laughs> writing. <laughs> All right, I'm on it. I'm writing. <laughs> oh my god! Survive the storm. Fight Tur- the tarantulas. Tarantula cane. 
<laughs> like Sharknado from the studio. I don't want to see that movie. That's worse than Shark. We experienced uh, a T Rex NATO last episode, and I did. don't want to experience yeah. a Tarantula Wake. <laughs> oh, and an earthquake too. Oh God. Uh, we'll we'll have to reach out to Monroe too and make sure that she's all right. I hope she's not covered in tarantulas down there in San Diego. She's still oh, currently poor, covered in tarantulas. Still <laughs> just carrying them around. In some fashion <laughs> statement. Oh, no. no matter how hard she tries, she can't get those tarantulas off of her. It's like glitter. Two arms and a half for skin tarantulas. Tarantulas and glitter. glitter. <laughs> Oh Listen, someone who <laughs> deals with both regularly. It's true, I promise. Uh, I, uh, oh my gosh. I almost got a spit take from Nick because I was close. <laughs> See, uh, I just want glitter shaped in tarantulas to, for like oh, a going out go. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect, perfect spooky season attire. Oh, did yeah. you know, Did you guys know that the uh, the largest purchaser of glitter in the world is the U.S. government, and they won't tell anyone why they're buying all of it? Wait, that can't be true. What? It's, it's because of government true. assistance. I'm it so feels sorry like to all of our taxpayers. <laughs> just, just will. Just that's just where it's me. all going. <laughs> they don't pay me a living wage where I'm at, so we have to supplement somehow. <laughs> The glitter conspiracy. What? There's a huge glitter conspiracy. People are like, yeah. it's in toothpaste. It's in no. There's the blah blah blah. The most the most reasonable like speculative idea of why the government buys it is that uh, they put it in. People think they put it in jets, like stealth jets, mm. and uh, because glitter, if you drop a large amount of glitter at the same time, it can confuse a radar, and so they think that they put it on the stealth jets, and so if they get locked with a radar and they get notified of that, they can drop the glitter and confuse the it's radar. Like, you so as, crazy as chaff. Yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> I need everyone to know that last year there was a glitter shortage and every drag queen in New England was panicking. Panicking. Okay, I and I was that. suffering the brunt end of all of their emotions. So if I have to play the US government for all this drama, <laughs> once hey, again, again always blame the US government. Always blame the government. <laughs> there is a so, now more than ever, if there's a problem facing the drag community, it is the fault of the U.S. government. <laughs> Just jump to the conclusion. You're probably right. Uh, that's funny. Oh, and my God. A quick, a quick Google reveals that it's even weirder than that, because technically we're only speculating that the U.S. government is the largest purchaser of glitter. Like glitter companies will not oh, say yeah. they won't say who's who buying it all but like everyone's like it's probably the u.s government <laughs> that there is been a few so people funny. a few like whistleblowers from big glitter who said yeah. it's the u.s government <laughs> big glitter that's what they used to call me in high school what is happening <laughs> here <laughs> full circle full circle uh, what is going oh, on? that should have been someone's code name oh, big yeah, glitter. <laughs> i'm gonna put it up to the listeners uh Oh, hit a new funny. patreon goal we do a whole show in drag oh that'd be fun we'll call be so we'll fun. call the episode big we'll glitter. call it big glitter <laughs> and we that'd play the u.s government yeah yeah <laughs> yes the gm yes. it's a whole new system we'll make it up right on the spot it'll be great the government master <laughs> it writes itself you honestly. mean the president i guess so yeah, yeah. yeah sure yeah. yeah yeah we could call it that <laughs> This episode gets a hundred thousand likes. We'll do it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta clickbait uh, it. Uh, I will know. We will never clickbait anything we do. I will never <laughs> stoop that low. Three a.m. It's not bad challenge. clickbait if you make good on the promise. It's true. I guess. It's true. I guess it's just a promise. <laughs> then at that point, yeah. <laughs> or a threat, depending on how you want to. <laughs> Well, I do, this this took so many turns, and uh, now I'm going to spend all night trying to figure out who buys glitter, and uh, we'll see. Maybe that's the next phenomenon y'all are going to investigate. Who's buying all of the glitter, 
and how do we contain this? <laughs> how can we stop? Uh, I'm already thinking of ways to tie it into here. <laughs> Give me 10 minutes to cook. <laughs> All right, you're good. I, I can van for 10 minutes. No, um, so last week we started playing External Containment Bureau. We're going to play it for a few more episodes. Uh, we introduced, uh, we, we got introduced to our characters, Big Mama, the hacker, Nail from Human Resources, Clarissa, our our middle aged medium, uh, medium aged medium, it, you, you medium right middle there. middle aged medium. It was right there. It was, yeah. uh, and middle. then uh, middle aged middle, and then uh, Blake Goldfoot, uh, our our records yeah. keeper. Yes, Blake Goldfoot, yeah. as yeah. opposed to I his got... real name, which is Drake Silverhand. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It does, I'm not it's, gonna get tired of that. That's so good. I don't. There's no way to confuse those two. They're very dissimilar from each other, Johnny. So I don't know why you would make sure I got the right one. I didn't completely uh-huh. forget. <laughs> That's fine. I took notes like a good GM does. I've got wow. right here. I'm looking at him. Look at him. I'm very proud of you. Look at me. I've been doing so this for for some time now. Uh, and you got introduced to the mystery, which is that a, a localized time loop was detected in Kingston, Washington, which I don't think I mentioned, or at least I hinted at, is a real city in Washington. Yeah, it's only you about two hours there. away from Forks, the most important city in Washington. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it's bringing it back to Twilight Burst into flames as, right as we need to. <laughs> <laughs> I, if there's someone who lives... In Where the that heck town in Washington and is listening to this, please fact check us. Please. Yeah, just hit us up. So call I, us out. Uh they're <laughs> they're actually uh I did some research. So maybe I'll bring in some Kingston facts uh throughout this episode. Which just I'm amounts start rolling to rolling to see if we can find plaques. Give us a t- <laughs> Oh, I we just start touring. Idea. We're here forever anyways, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It was established in 1846 <laughs> by <laughs> William Kingston. Yeah, the that's the name. So, why do you feel so... the hate comments pouring in from the Kensington Tins? In the Zentonians? It was actually founded yes. by William King and William Stun, and they just matched yes. their last names together. Yes. <laughs> yes. We shall call this land. Uh, this Kingston. land. Uh, and uh, a, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened. You, you <laughs> entered into the time loop, uh, discovered that there was some uh, rock from a, a larger, almost obelisk uh, and that exploded uh, at the touch of Big Mama. But Big Mama was with you, so couldn't have been the Big Mama that's with you. It had to be a different Big Mama. And uh, Blake... Uh, well, the mama's head exploded and Blake went to investigate and found a glass bead inside of Big Mama, which he dropped, which then released a Tyrannosaurus Rex onto the town of Kingston. It crushed Blake immediately, ate Nail and Clarissa, and they found themselves back at the start of the loop when they first entered into it. And then they went to uh, talk to someone else that works for the Bureau, Shale, who had given them uh, devices that let them remember past loops. They've only had it for the last two. Who knows how many loops you all have been here for? Could be hundreds. You don't know. He said that his other partner, uh, Agent Wise, must be out in the forest uh, the North Kitsap Heritage Park, just outside of uh, Kingston, Washington. That. Listen to that name drop. That's it. <laughs> that that prep really comes in handy. Uh, I actually, I actually don't know if it's just outside of Kingston. It's, I don't, it's just a name of a park and forest near Kingston. So I don't know. Uh, you were on your way to. Oh, I don't know what to believe. I don't know. Yeah, you're on your way to find Agent Wise in the forest, who uh, Shale said was in, uh, researching, investigating some uh, extraterrestrial uh, artifacts and uh, uh, past. Uh... Guys, I'm real tired. 
I'm stumbling over my words right now. Alien stuff. Mm -hmm. Alien stuff. Yeah, that's what uh, it is. And on the way, you encountered Big Mama. Looks just like Kyle Larson, a.k.a. Big Mama. It says, ah, so you finally made it. And that is where we are going to pick it up. Uh, his uh, Big Mama's eyes glow uh, this like blue white look. And then they calm down a little bit and he's staring at the four of you, the three of you, because <laughs> Blake killed himself. Uh, and he has just he just says, ah, so you finally made it. What is this? What is this for you all? Loop? Um, I don't know. 300. How many times have you tried to stop me? I lean over to Nail and I say, I want to stab this guy on the neck so bad right now and see if he's got a blue orb in there. Um, are you Agent Wise? Is that... Nail. No. Yeah. Uh, you can call me Agent Infinity, though. That's very pretentious. That's, I mean, if you got these time loops, that's a good name. Oh, you're doing this? What are you here for? Mm, let's just say I need the time loops to survive. Well, not really survive. Feed is a better word. Yeah. What are we eating? Time. Dear. Oh, I think that'd be kind of stringy. It's tasty. It's a little gamey. Huh. I'm going to ask a potentially meta question okay. about Please. what telekinesis can move. Could I take the blue orb either out of out of either big mama using this power? Ideally Whoa. out of the evil one, right? And just okay. while he's evil monologuing about the taste of time. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I mean, here's the great thing about these types of narrative like fiction first games. At the end of the day, you can kind of tell me what you think is possible. Because all it says is mark one residence, move something small using your mind. And it feels pretty small to me. It feels small to me, too. I don't really see why. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Um, I do think I'm going to need an action roll, though, even mm -hmm. though uh, it, it doesn't say it for the first section or for the first sentence. Mm -hmm. Um I, I do think, yeah, it's going to it's going to need an action roll. This is pretty risky, it seems like to me. Uh, you said you want yeah. to try and take it out of Agent Infinity. Yes. OK. Um, wow. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go through our checklist. Uh, are you following all relevant beer directives? I'd say yes. Sure. Because I would be yeah. containing the threat if yeah. this works. Yeah, I like that. Um, do you think you have a background that applies to this action? Does your background as a medium help you in this? You know, as a medium, I can see this going poorly. Would that apply? <laughs> really, you're my absolute favorite player. You're just BSing. <laughs> Every question I ask you, I love it. I am going to say I do not think that your medium background helps you in this. Yes, I would agree. Action. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page with that. Um, any gear that you think might help, though? I mean, it's really just mind gear, so probably not. Okay. Um, but you are using a paranormal ability, so mark that resonance and take the the extra die for that. So could yeah, could we say that because I'm aware of the general placement of where this blue orb was, that could count as gear or knowledge 
for that third category. Because some more knowledge makes sense. I don't. All right. All okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'll yeah. take whatever yeah. bullshit I can get this point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is a six and a one. Okay. The one okay. doesn't matter, just, but just for transparency's nope, just, sake. Just take your highest dive. Um, so you reach out while Agent Infinity is talking to Big Mama and connect with something in its neck. It's much bigger, though, than what you imagined it would be and what you saw or, or what you heard came out of uh, Big Mama's neck. And you yank and yank and yank. And there is this absolutely terrifying, like, squelching sound as this thing is just yanked out of the front of his throat. And he gurgles and looks at you, Clarissa, and says, You know... (laughs) see you again and his body collapses on the ground and then it shifts and disappears along with the orb that was pulled out of his neck y'all i think i messed that one up i'm so sorry oh, no no i mean we beat him right that's, uh... <laughs> no that's I, yeah that's a good way of looking at that <laughs> Damn, but he was giving us so much information too. That's that's really what I'm missing out on here now. <laughs> Gotta take this walk again. I was hoping I could look at the orb and, and figure out something from it. See if I can see anything in it. Okay, well please don't do that to me. Uh, because I don't want to die again. <laughs> for how did you, if... Big Mama, what? did you feel anything when Clarissa did that to the other Big Mama? I don't I didn't feel anything when it happened to me. Um so <laughs> All right, so you don't... Yeah, you were pretty dead. Oh, yeah. The... Well, I meant when... Well, whatever. Uh, let's find Wise, if we can. And maybe the alien stuff. You continue on, and you find yourself uh, in the middle of the forest. And uh, eventually you see that uh, there are some like standing circles in a clearing and there is a stairs that go down underneath the standing circles. Cool. So we just go down. So you go down, uh, and find yourself, uh, like it's dirt and, and rock and grass and all that. And then, as you continue to walk, it, it switches. It turns to very sterile silver metal lining the walls and the floors and the ceiling. And eventually you find yourself at a, a door uh, that uh, slides open to this massive open room where you see uh, a, a woman and uh, she looks very disheveled. She is sort of on her hands and knees looking at something. You can't tell her back is turned to you, just muttering. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm, maybe, maybe this, maybe this. Yep, uh, maybe that. No, 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 that won't, that won't work. This seems like one of your expertise areas because she's rotten. Are you talking, talking to me or now? Either one of you. You both do right, and I don't. You just, you I just don't didn't want to interrupt her. Okay. I just don't want to uh, interact with her. What if she's scary? <laughs> there is that worry. Um, <coughs> is she uh, wearing like a coat? Um, She's wearing... Uh, a, a like pants suit. Okay. Um, I'm going to 
as nonchalantly as possible, just tap her on the shoulder. But as I do, I'm going to kind of like drop the device like into her shoulder mm. or like chest pocket mm -hmm, on her mm -hmm. suit mm -hmm. and like just tap on her shoulder. Mm. Yep. I love it. Um, I think we're getting into an action role. I think it sounds pretty risky to me. Uh, are you following all relevant bureau directives? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, do you think your background applies to this? Yes. I have definitely slipped wireless devices on people before. <laughs> sure. As a hacker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, that makes sense to me. Um, I will say you can take the die for the gear because you, you were given to it by shale. Mm -hmm. um, uh, paranormal abilities. Do you want to use that or no? Nah. Okay. So three days. Five. Okay. Um, your goal is to slip this thing into Agent Wise's pocket. And also uh, which... get her attention to some extent. Sure, of course. Yep. Um... <laughs> um, I am going to mark uh, two on the mission clock. Um, because this, this device gets slipped into agent wise's pocket and there is a brief moment of clarity that comes over her face as she looks at you and goes, Kyle, no, 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 no. There's no, no, there's no, absolutely no way. Kyle, you, this is you, Kyle. And she pulls a, a, a gun on you. I remember everything. You did this. Right. Uh, I will undo it as soon as I get some explanation as to what exactly this is. Stop. No, stop moving. You two o over here. Come over here. He's going to harm you. I'm not going to. Now or I'm going to shoot. I, Walk over I, here. I'm not moving. Please, keep, please go over okay. to Okay. Thank you. Over I'll walk there. over. I'm not going to move. I, I will do anything that you want me to. I have promise. Hands, hands in the air. I've seen it all. You've, you've killed me so many times. So many times. There's a, there is a person that people keep saying looks like me that's walking around. I, I promise if you took like a second look, it's, it's really not that close. But that is the person who hurts you. I've been with these people every loop and we've just been dying. So we're in the same boat, right? Same, same boat. Uh, I I think I need some sort of action roll to to convince her to stand down. Sure. Okay. Dude. Uh, um, can we help at all with that? Yeah. Tell me what you do. Maybe maybe that takes uh takes us from I I I think you're in serious trouble. I think this position yeah. is danger. Yeah. Maybe. Dangerous. Yeah. That may so be. if if the two of you can tell me how you help, maybe we can increase that position to just risky instead, or potentially even safe. Probably not safe, but certainly not dangerous. <laughs> so there's two options here, and I'm consulting <laughs> Gus about it, because I don't know which one is best for us. So I could remove the gun from her hand using telekinesis. I could just yoink. Mm -hmm. Right up, mark a mm -hmm. residence and do that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Or we could try and talk it out with her. Both? We can try to calm her down, and then while she's mid-conversation, we can try to do the old pistol yank. Switch Maru if things go down bad. Yeah. Okay. Because I think I have an idea of how maybe to talk her down. Okay. Okay, let's try that. And then you telekinesis when you're ready. Okay. Okay. What do you say? I just want to look at her and just tell her, look, look, if 
He was who you thought he was. Just wait one more second. Check your pocket. There's something in there that you didn't know was in there that we all have in our pockets right now. If we were here to hurt you, why would we have the same object? I love it. I think then we can increase this position to risky instead. So, Big Mama, are you following all Bureau directives? Yes. Do you have a background that applies? I've had guns pointed at me before. (laughs) (laughs) Could the argument be made that us filling her in on our background with Big Mama counts as having a relevant background? The most Looney Tunes esque <laughs> logic possible. <laughs> Listen, we're giving her a background. A I don't know what. Does. You... <sighs> Look, it's well, not. Like as a... <laughs> I love it. The question is not have you ever had been in this situation before? It's does your background <laughs> give you the relevant skills? to do what you're trying to do. I think there's a big difference between someone who's never had a gun pointed at them and someone who's stared down the barrel of a gun multiple (laughs) times. Okay. All right. Okay. I concede. I see your point. Take a die for your background. Do you have relevant gear or requisition? Nope. I will just Uh, believe that one. (laughs) Do you want to use telepathy? Your laptop is bulletproof. (laughs) What? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I don't want to make, you know, person with a gun, you don't want to do anything volatile. So I don't want to connect to her mind right now. Okay. Just really hoping that nothing happens. That's fair. Two dice. Four. Okay. A four. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, uh, she looks at you and she, she puts the gun down and then there is a pulse that just loses in this place. It's centered in the exact center of this room. There is an indent in the floor where it looks like something is not there. And you all feel yourselves like get hit with this pulse. And you find yourself outside on top of the stairs. And I will be marking two more on the mission clock. Ooh. Is Clarissa's 72-year-old body okay? Uh, you, you might look, and then maybe you're a little bit older, like a couple of years. You're going to send this woman to an early, early, early grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, is is Nail no longer 15? Uh, you're, th- you're 14 now. <laughs> <laughs> Am I exactly the same? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> is God is damn it, the... you keep getting younger. That's not fair. I I don't want this at all. Is Wise yes, with you us? one day. Uh, Asian mm-hmm. Wise is not with you, but you know where she is. Wise, we call down the... <sighs> Wait, why do I... I remember. How do, how do I remember? You have the device from from Shale, right? That was his name, Slate. Shale. No, Shale. Shale's, Shale's right. Shale. Shale's right. Oh, you have volcanic rock. I don't know. Oh, it feels like like a truck has hit my head. Oh, probably did happened, at some point. Honestly. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it could have. We're like yelling we down the here? stairs at this point, right? Uh, she's come up at this point. Okay. Uh, Before she gets all the way to the top, can we just please 
don't shoot Big Mama. Yeah, I'm. How do you we just have that exchange? We just. I think we got hit by a time loop again, and we just. Please don't shoot anyone. Uh, is Justin just looping? No, I thought you oh. were. Oh yeah, we were. <laughs> I thought you were talking to each other. You had a perfect <laughs> rhythm a of how you're moving. It looked like you were perfectly <laughs> looping. I was like, I'm just, I'm oh, just really in out? character right now. I'm just oh. like, I'm time looping. <laughs> It was TikTok cool. NBC live streams are getting very strange, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they weren't already. <laughs> no, they were very normal for this moment. Saw a uh, Victorian <laughs> child uh, NPC last night. That was pretty weird. <laughs> Anyways, that, moving on. <laughs> okay, moving on. I, I, yeah. Yeah, she comes up. She's like, how how long have we been here? Uh, well, evil me Ugh. said like 300 loops, which is a very long time. Um, I, I'm sorry, evil what? Yeah, there's like an evil me, I guess. I don't, you guys I keep don't saying it. It looks like me. I don't really think they look like me. I'm just throwing them out there. It's not really that similar. <laughs> yeah. No, I wait. No, it looks just like you. No, he's got I more freckles now. than the evil one. Yeah. Um, Okay. It's obvious. Well, literally, other than that, it's like a spitting image. Oh. It's like a big facial it, feature. Yeah. <sighs> um, it's. <sighs> honestly, though, I don't really quite know what's going on. I just. I, I think Shayla and I have been here a long time. Yeah. Shayla's not affected by it. That maybe that no, that doesn't make sense. That none of this makes sense. No, none of it has. I'm having a lot of trouble putting it together. So, uh, what was that machine down there? Did you figure that out in 300 loops? Um, maybe, maybe the three of us, the four of us, could figure it out together. I can figure it out. I just walked on. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Right. Just follow behind him. <laughs> Wait, the down, was there a, Did we get hit by a time loop? Was there another one? Is that what happened? Um, I don't I think, think it was so. a full one. Um, does that mean our kind of dead splatted friend should be back? What I... if he just came back like halfway down? You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, like he's already got the momentum built up. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Or uh, whatever velocity just yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever well it was just it was just back to where you were when you came down the stairs so it's not the, the full oh he's not back yet okay hyper hyper localized wanna can I ask wise if I if if she remembers the first time she walked in. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. We. Well, no. Wait, no. We were out here studying, and then I think something or someone knocked me out. I think somebody knocked me out. Do you remember where they hit you? She touches the the back of her head. Uh, back right here. I think. I And then when I came to, I was down there. And I think I've been down there for years now. If you're from okay my perspective. with it. Is there something that I can try? Uh, I just would need to touch the back of your neck. Oh, 
it's still recording on my end, I think. It made me refresh. Good? It said, browse prevented recording. Please refresh the page. So I did and came back in. Oh, so the way. So how's the chicken? Everybody like the chicken? <laughs> it's okay. I would love a Nashville hot chicken right now. Oh, that does sound good. It just does, it seems like it's recording again. So okay, good. Okay. The worst, one of the worst parts about having celiac disease for me is is not being able to enjoy like fried chicken or hot chicken anymore. Oh, oh, that does sound. Mm. You're a stronger man than I am. Oh, thank you. Now Everything else, I'm fine. Last pasta, fine. Bread, fine. Yeah, no. Chicken sandwiches. I love those things. <sighs> the chicken sandwiches are just they're so good. Ugh. Is they're there the a, is there gluten and cornstarch? No. There is not. Because I bet safe. if I bet if you put the right ratio of gluten free breadcrumbs yeah. to cornstarch, you can make something that feels pretty similar. Pretty to... similar, yeah. The problem that I've run into when I make it on my own is I can't ever seem to get the spice level right. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah, I yeah. just can't get that like solid flavor. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I just miss being able to walk in somewhere and buy fried chicken. And yeah. Not have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I am. I will say I do feel fortunate. There's a restaurant out here in LA that does do gluten free fried chicken, but it's so expensive. It's so yeah. Expensive. Uh, you just asked Agent Y as if if you can try something. She goes, I. I mean, I guess it. It depends on what you want to do. Do you? I just need, just very lightly touch the back of your neck and I want to see if maybe I can get something and look oh, into okay. the past. It might not be accurate. We're ha I'm having issues being able to see in the past because of the loops, but I just want to try. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Big Mama is pulling out a startling amount of equipment and just like putting it places and taking readings yeah. and it's like just where typing, it was... hitting enter, typing, hitting yeah. enter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wanted to make fun of hackers, okay? The DDoS execute colon. Yeah, command, it's a bunch run, of pre written execute, scripts COVID. that you just try over and over again until they work. <laughs> that, that's it. There you go. I've ruined hacking for everyone. The only, the, only thing, the only thing you missed, Nick, was doing it and being like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. That's for later. <laughs> goes to chat gpt types please hack <laughs> please please hack all the ring cameras in this town for me all right seems like you're trying to get another clue am i right you are right all right be using the retrocognition you certainly are uh are you following all bira uh directives i think so yes yeah. we are out of sight um uh, background that applies. Investigating, but this is a different type of thing. This is more yeah. psychic, so I'm gonna say yeah. no. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna say no. I'm not. Know. Yeah. Um, gear. I feel like relevant gear. Giving her a stress ball just to help her get through it. That I keep in my <laughs> in my on my as part of my small comforts that I am allowed to have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
was like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes. yeah that makes sense. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think more I'm with people get on this, I, I get on this it. train of making things up. So y'all aren't like, well, <laughs> you can't come back. You're ruining it says games. small comforts. I need her to be comfortable to let me do what I need to do. Every fiber of me is like, that does not help you. Search the past, though. <laughs> Do you not perform I, better when you're comfortable? I will give it to you. Yes. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. It's two. Performance is key here. Uh, and then uh, the paranormal ability. You're the paranormal using. is three. I want to be. Without- I want to be clear here. I want to be clear here because this is, I think, the first time that I've GM'd for the two of you. <laughs> this. This is uh, uh, somewhat of a fun campaign, right? We're just having fun for the next four mm-hmm. episodes. So mm-hmm. I, I don't really care. I will warn you. I do do other stuff in IGM. I am a bit more hard. <laughs> and I will not accept any old BS be an answer. Okay. Okay. Well, and I will find a way. I, and if you I just want him a into way. accepting the BS, he will hold it against you eventually. <laughs> I will. I will. I feel like a monkey's paw, just like fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your three dice, Gus, and you're on the dice. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> will is already treading water then. <laughs> That's... Beyond treading water, you're on the door. You're Rose. I'm Jack. This is bad. There we go. So you can see the dice. Uh, the highest is a five. Ah, wonderful. It still goes my way. Uh, wow. Anyway, it goes both our ways. It goes both our ways. Um, I got to give you a clue. Um, which is what? Ah, I know what it is. Um, you are uh, in the past and you see, uh, Agent Wise in this uh, area of the alien ship that you were down and you saw, and uh, there is in the middle where that indent was that you saw earlier, uh, a large, long stone in the center. And it is glowing bright blue. And then through Agent Wise's eyes, you just hear like a thump. And, and then you your your vision falls forward and then your vision comes out of Agent Wise's body and you see a uh, uh, skinnyish looking man in a oversized lab coat take this stone out of the center and a large burst of uh, uh like temporal energy is released and then your vision comes to and it comes to at the exact moment nail that another one of these large temporal bursts Escape, uh, cascades out uh, from the center of this alien ship. This one, though, does not send you back to just above the stairs. You look and you see this wave coming towards you, and the next thing you know, the four of you are standing back on the boat. And I have marked the last on the mission clock. I'm going Ooh. to start a, a new mission clock. This one only has four segments this will be the last mission clock uh justin yes the the most important question that could possibly be answered at this particular moment is are the notes that i wrote for myself in my pocket uh all right i want to preface this with the statement that i am not a physicist (laughs) that's (laughs) I'm all sorry, right. buddy. That, that was already clear. That was... Okay. <laughs> all right. I just want to make it explicit. I want to make it explicit. <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah, they're there. Okay. <laughs> this means time resets everything. <laughs> but also, yeah. it doesn't. <clears throat> so, uh, so, check your other pocket for me, real quick. Okay. 
Uh, There's a device in it. What is this? That is what's making us remember the loops. We've actually been through hundreds of these. So why don't we Agent, remember the, the rest? Agent Shale gave it to us like uh, like 200 loops in. He, uh, not a very good agent. So I will say I was suspicious that he may be a part of it since he wasn't affected by the loops. However, after looking into Wise's memory, that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be the evil you, Big Mama, that is fully behind everything. I don't want Big time Mama's powers. Doing this? I, hey, whoa. I don't want time powers, okay? I don't want... Pull up my knife and stab Big Mama. <laughs> <laughs> you take the orb out the hard way. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, this is the solution. This is the solution. I already <laughs> died multiple times. It does not fix the time <laughs> It's not about the world. Though. Also, it's canon you stabbed me. I'm just holding the wound. <laughs> just, uh. what, if, what if this is the time it fixes it? Dude. Hey, wait. Can you, if you're going to stab him, can it at least be useful? We need that orb. <laughs> no, you don't need the orb. I, it feels important. It's glowy. Well, it only appeared in my neck when I heard the crazy okay. sound. And what? Let's take a vote. By show of hands, who thinks we need the orb? And uh, I, I raise my hand. I raise mine. I keep my hand down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, shit. Two versus one. Okay, well, no, no. That's two Two versus two. Well, no, you, you're the object of the vote, so you don't get a vote. <laughs> so the Come eyes on. have it. Um, wow. The person two stripped rules. away from me in a second. Oh, wait. Maybe I can te te telekinesis it out of you. It'll be a little more pleasant. I watched you do that earlier, and it killed the evil me. But that one was big. Yours is tiny. She has a point. I was not there for any of that, but... <laughs> it sounds like she knows what she's talking about. I've already got a stab wound. Let's roll the dice. Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> this segment brought to you by any local casino near you. All right. <laughs> are we are we trying to carefully pull this out of Big Mama? Okay. Yeah, or are we we're just, just trying to really carefully telekinesis this out. I'm so sorry. I'm crying from laughing, and I'm trying to not ruin my makeup. <laughs> so for anybody listening, I've pulled out a fan. <laughs> I'm fanning my tears. I hear some wind. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the wind? Dear Lord, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I'd be so embarrassed. Oh, my stars and goddess. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's just, it's so hard pulling all sorts of people these days. Anyways. Uh, they're um, never grateful. Clarissa, never grateful. are you following all relevant Bira directives? Yeah, I don't feel like around. that's true. <laughs> I don't feel like that's true either. Um... I feel like okay. Well, if you want to make the argument that containing <laughs> would be keeping it inside of him, it's equally contained in my hand. I and no one's around to see it. And there's a third one. What's the third so one? So, what directive Obviously. does this? Uh, what directive? Oh, does wouldn't this that be the no one's around? Oh, well, you know what? You guys are right. These two doesn't actually care about my survival. <laughs> That's not well, I hear the thing, which is why I'm trying to get as many dice as possible. <laughs> it, it 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 might not necessarily care about its agent survival, but it does care about properly identifying and containing phenomena and ripping it out of an agent's throat might not be the proper way to identify. Uh, okay, its phenomena. then we won't pull it out. Just wait for you to puke or something. If you get hung over okay. today, call Look, me. You can, so I can, you can it do it. Yes. I have a question. This Please. is relevant. It's a relevant question. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I I uh I rummage through my bag really quickly. I'm like going through all sorts of papers. There's papers that are like you guys see like redacted sheets, kind of like flying into the wind and just landing <sighs> in the water around us. Um, <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, there it is, and I pull out my containment checklist. Yeah. What does it tell me about a situation like this? Born <laughs> object inside of an agent's body. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a there's a tab for that. Yeah, you're telling uh, and, me that there isn't a whole chapter on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is. Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go ahead internal and, objects. I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Yeah, there's like a, it's like foreign objects in uh, it connected to agent, and there's an internal section <laughs> yeah. and an external section. Is, like they're there's split a, there's up. Like, yeah, a heading for foreign objects, and then it's like uh, in in uh, in like, throat. In remote high, area, in, in populated yeah, yeah, yeah. area, inside yeah, yeah. non-agent, inside yeah. agent. Yeah, exactly. Inside yeah, exactly. sensitive areas. <laughs> um, I'm going to. I'm going to roll a fortune die. How about that? Um, I got one die for sheer luck, and then I'm actually going to get a second die because you're using an item, and this is your specialty. Um, and the highest die I rolled is a six. <gasps> um, Ooh. Which means that, like, you're flipping through this, and you 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 flip through uh, foreign object uh, next to an agent, foreign object inside of an agent in the Arctic. Ah, here it is for an object uh, lodged in agent's throat, and uh, it it says that um, uh, if the agent were to uh, not perish during this in other words if no harm comes to the agent during this and that you can find some container to hold the object uh you should be fine bureaucratically being able to do this the concern is that the object and the agent become attached in some way so that by harming the agent you somehow contaminate the object as well but if you can find some way to uh to keep uh big mama safe and healthy during this and find a safe place to contain this object you should be all right okay i think did we hear all of that was was drake reading all of that out loud to us yeah yeah i read that all out loud um I have an idea unless somebody else has something they think they can. I was going to suggest do. we try to take it out inside of the spaceship. Because that seems like we could contain it better with whatever it's made out of in there. That's probably a good idea. I also think that I can get it out of him without harming him at all. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> okay, we'll do it your way. She's still so disappointed. Still bleeding. Puts the knife away. <laughs> <laughs> like it to be super clear that uh, Drake does not and will not be apologizing for having stabbed you. Yeah, I've already already caught on to that. Keep moving. <laughs> Do we want to potentially get the rock from the male person? Go to the ship. try to go around where we ran into Agent Infinity so we don't run into them again. But Agent Infinity remembers all of the loops, so they'll... <sighs> they'll know. They'll know we're coming. Well, has this loop happened already? That's well, very no. existential. No, I don't. Well, I do remember now. No, this hasn't happened before. So this would be a new instance of a loop so unless agent infinity is somehow big mama from the further future they would have no way of knowing what we're going to do next yeah yeah that sounds right that sounds right i think we can try this i think it is sounding like we are coming to a uh, 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 a conclusion. I think it might be time for y'all to theorize on our three questions, which are what is the phenomenon? How can you contain the phenomenon? And how will you obfuscate the situation? So we can't do the stuff at the ship before we do that? Um you can you can it feels like the ship might be where this final confrontation goes down or the the containing of the thing goes down does that make sense yeah yeah um, i guess i feel like i don't have 
everything I need to be able to do this until we get the thing out of Big Mama. Sure. Sure. Um, I mean, that can just be part of... Uh, but that can be part of the the plan and the theorize, right? Oh, okay. Like you don't need okay. you don't need mm-hmm. the thing out. Like you can be like, part of the plan is getting the thing out. Um, but that, I'm fine with. That. So gotcha. uh, again, we're going to the theorize role. So you have your clues. Uh, you're using those clues to answer one of those three questions. What is the phenomenon? How can you contain the phenomenon? And how will you obfuscate the situation? For every clue you use answering one of those questions, you will get a die. Once we've built the dice pool, we will roll the dice. And that will determine the starting situation of which you will be able to contain and obfuscate this event from. Okay. 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 Can we go over what the clues are one more time? You absolutely may. Let's do it. Um, You found the shard from the larger alien obelisk uh, in the mailman's wrist and saw that it was shattered by Agent Infinity, who you now know is somehow an alternate version of Big Mama. Uh, You found the the glass bead in Big Mama's neck, um, which uh, uh, when shattered... Uh, somehow was connected to some sort of temporal incursion, which released the T-Rex. Uh, then you discovered that there is uh, further alien tech in this area, and potentially the existence of time travel tech. Uh, and um, uh, then that last clue that I gave to Nail, which was that uh, the source of this whole event was when this object was removed from the center of the alien ship. So, what is a phenomenon? How can you contain it? How can you obfuscate the situation? I would wager the phenomenon is started by the the removal of that big obelisk from the center, and then the shattering mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I do quite like the mail theory from earlier that it <laughs> being distributed <laughs> via USBS is what's causing it to get bigger. <laughs> Even if that's not what's really happening, that's what Clarissa is going to believe is happening until she dies. Um, Again, it's... So that's definitely the start of it, at least. Agreed. Yeah, I think, um, I think that that's probably what helped it spread, for sure. At the roots, I would guess that the... Uh, the obelisk is a part of some sort of a mechanism. As as we all know, uh, in order for interstellar travel to be possible, you need to be able to fold both space and time, and mm-hmm. all alien mm-hmm. ships require a quantum engine. This is clearly mm-hmm. part of this ship's quantum engine that allows them to fold the time portion of space and time. Actually, I think it's the opposite. I think this was like a <clears throat> containing, stabilizing device for the engine which is what we were in. I think that was the engine that we were inside of or, or whatever the, the mm, equivalent yeah. is. I would not call that the opposite, but. <laughs> not the opposite. You're right. But I, building off of what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Because it, the effect <laughs> is coming. definition <laughs> of opposite there, Nick, but sure. <laughs> opposite. Very similar idea. Just running off of that. Uh, because the um, it's coming from the ship. Right, the the mm-hmm. the every single wave starts at the ship, so I think the ship is slowly uh, going critical, essentially. Yeah, mm. um, and we the, essentially like it's it's um, you know, coolant has been removed. Yeah. So, do we think that we might be able to contain the phenomenon by replacing and repairing the ship, <laughs> putting the pieces back where they are supposed to be? Uh, yes, at least enough of it to slow it down. To cool it off. So, do we have to track down every USPS worker in this town? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the size of I think it sound the size we found the USPS the worker. USPS worker. Can this be the moment where I pull out a device that is perfectly suited to the situation at hand? You certainly may, and then you can continue to theorize. <laughs> cool. Uh, Kyle pulls out just a very strange looking device uh so this uh is something we've been working on in r and d um supposed to be just a very simple like um containment device but 
it uses um, uh, sort of like a, a shunting property of like time and space. Uh, not nearly enough to like, you know, move objects through space and time, but it could in theory be used to contain at least some of this energy if we put it into the drive. And I think combined with at least some of the material that we have, and if we could get more, it may be helpful, but we, I could probably make something that is, although not the original obelisk that was inside of there should in theory, you know, contain the uh, time dilation that we're all affected, are all affected by. Makes sense. I don't know how many times I said in theory in that. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I all am, I am hearing what the phenomenon is, uh, which is that this uh, containment piece to the engine was removed, allowing temporal energy to be released. Uh, I'm hearing how you can contain it, which is if we were to put this thing back, it would stop releasing the energy. Um, I have not quite heard a lot about how to obfuscate the situation. Um, and uh, this is just my opinion. I am not a player. You can do this what you will. I feel like there's an additional piece to contain as well, too, in uh, wh whoever this Agent Infinity person is. Mm -hmm. So hear me out. If we fly in a fake film crew for the end of this... <laughs> And we say, hey, sorry, everybody. Today felt funky. We were filming in town. Groundhog's Day 2. <laughs> yep, just the darndest thing. Could we potentially use the same thing that caused the loop to reset the loop one more time? To before to the make loop it, started? To before the loop started. Oh, like, yeah, we could totally do that. Because I could store the like temporal energy and then release it in one big wave. Yeah. We that could, would make uh, it so everyone would forget about what, what's been happening and hopefully restore everything. But how do we stop yeah. Agent just, Infinity? Just to well, cover our see, bases with the oh. obfuscation, I do think that we should also uh, just have mm. the Bureau write up something about like a fracking accident nearby that released gases that would have caused hallucinations. So if anyone has any wacky yeah. memories, yeah, yeah that's fine. Old standby. That's, that's the standard uh, Triple D 36 form. We can just always yeah. fill yeah. that out. Exactly. That's we like just lazy form like fill out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just, we have to fill out a 75B if one of us doesn't say it out loud when we're talking about Baby, I work in administration. I'm fine filling out those forms, but don't say it. That's okay. <laughs> um, Fair enough. I think the um, Agent Infinity thing has to solve itself, right? So yeah, once I feel there like... isn't a, a paradoxical time structure, there can't be two of me, right? It um, did also say it was eating the temporal energy. <laughs> So yes, yeah, take so he'll its food source. Yeah, if there's no temporal energy to eat. Oh, but what if we could also just, just comes, we could also just some... rip the thing out of him again as soon as the once we have everything contained and the loop stops, oh, that the loop will stops stop him we... from coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think this cool. should work. Um. So. Yeah, do we need... So, I'm, I'm assuming we still need the bead out of our big mama, though, right? Like, yeah, it'd be helpful. Okay. I've never right, done this so before. So, we need the bead. Let me try we need the rock. And we need to go to the ship. Yes. We have the rock, right? Don't we have... We... You can no, get it. We gotta go we have push to push that USPS worker over. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> no. at this point, <laughs> because he's not gonna remember, right? Because we're gonna reset the loop. Before Hopefully, the loop we reset it. And I it's can fine. push him over. Nice shorts and safari hat, loser. <laughs> <laughs> um, not nice union pay. <laughs> I mean, that is nice, but uh, <laughs> um, okay, Big Mama. I've never tried this before, but I think 
I know how to get this bead out of you. Are you okay with me trying this? Uh, yeah. First, I just I have one more, much more terrible theory I wanted to share before sure. you, you know, kill me by accident. I love spiraling like this, please. Oh, okay, cool. So, uh, other possibility is that we are in the belly of a temporal beast that is slowly eating all of our future possibilities and essentially digesting us. Based oh, on the evidence boar. we've gathered so far, that seems unlikely. Yeah, but I wanted to throw it out there. I like I it. I mean, that's, that's like what Our happened route. in Portland three years ago, right? Yeah. That's that how I died poor bar time. never recovered from that. I felt so bad. <laughs> yeah, well. Everyone else I was with died. Is oh, that how? you died the first time? Yep. Ah. Well, who knows? <laughs> Right. That's yeah, that happens. Okay. I start rubbing my hands together. I'm gonna do this now. Um all right, so Justin. With the teleportation. To, I'm pretty sure exactly. I can do this. If I mark two resonance and do the, an action roll, I can just yeah. teleport the bead out of him. Yeah. I I I love that. Yeah. I love that a lot. Um You gotta make the sound effect when it happens. <clears throat> when I hear pimp. <laughs> uh, I I I think this is danger close position. I think this is a dangerous position for sure. Okay, danger close. Um, yeah, might actually te close. teleport his spine out instead. Please, don't. yeah, and yeah. and you're it, literally the line is you directly interact with weird energy or objects. I think that is literally what you're doing right now. Um, are you following all relevant bureau directives? I would say. Yeah, you are. We established earlier um, with your containment checklist, and I, I think you're good there. Um, a background as a, a librarian. <laughs> He's reaching for it. He's thinking. I Can I, I will say I will say what I've said again. If you gave it to me for any of the other things in this particular. <laughs> mission that you've given me the librarian dice for i should get it for this one i think it's so silly to be like i've read books about teleporting things out of no, but i've read bodies. not only have i read gray's anatomy completely <gasps> mm -hmm. okay, and understand right. the anatomy therein but i have seen the bead inside of him mm -hmm. i know like within this specific subject where the object I'm looking for is. Uh, we have practical I, experience. I hate this game so much. I hate this and I hate all of you. You got two more episodes, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we have just <laughs> begun. Hey guys, just announcing now new cast for episodes three and four. Yeah, it's just me. I'm just going to play by myself. Just no, let me zone. just say though, I am so glad to know that in the new Avatar Legends campaign, there will be somebody carrying this specific torch without me there. <laughs> it's true. Steve's going to hate It's me. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, Johnny, you may take a dice for your librarian background. Yes. Yes. <laughs> librarian Victory. superpowers. It's going to come back to bite you at some point. There must be a limit to your what you have read. There's nothing Listen. librarians can't accomplish, <laughs> and I believe that in real life. Honestly and truly, you might be right. Um, it's called the Library <laughs> Sciences Masters, okay? Yeah. We do yeah. stuff. Go to your local library. <laughs> hang out there. Listen to our podcast there. Yeah, there you go. Or Play for everyone the else. Podcast there. Yeah. No, yeah. that will um, really annoy all of them. <laughs> Please yeah. don't do that. Um, I, I, this is, gets into like a weird thing. Take one die for using paranormal ability. You, you are, but that's also the action role that we're trying to determine, but whatever, uh, three dice. Um, and, and we'll, we'll say, yeah, three dice. Six, 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 six. It's going to be three ones with our luck. We're going to be sitting here with a dead big mama. Will. Okay. It's not three ones. Let me, let me say that. There's a one one, there's two ones, and a six, and there's a six. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I want to provide a visual for every person who listened. Gus covered their mouth. I covered mine with a fan. Justin covered their mouth. It was 
<laughs> scary at this call. It was oh. tense. It was tense. <laughs> oh, wow. That I saw that face, and I, knowing Johnny, having played with him, I knew it was only one of two possible things. It was either two sixes or exactly what Will was about to describe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Big Mama, uh, Blake puts uh, his hands on you for a moment. And then, like, just in front of you, there is this, like, glass temporal bead that, like, is floating in air. And then it starts to fall, and Blake puts his hand under it to catch it. And it's just sitting in Blake's hand. It's this little, like, almost marble-sized glass bead. And inside, you see this swirling blue-white energy. Huh. You've been carrying it so far. You want to keep holding it? Uh, j- uh Sure. I'm just real glad I'm not dead. Me too. I think I can move my neck. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I, I think mine would have worked just as well. I'm pr- I'm Last pretty, time I I'm touched that thing, I got squished by a T-Rex. So. <laughs> yeah, hold on to it. Oh, that's how that <laughs> happened. That's crazy. That makes sense, but doesn't make sense. Well, technically, also... I, I dropped it. It wasn't just holding it. but Oh, you were okay. clumsy. My hands were covered in his blood. It... Okay, and you never been covered in blood before? We gotta get you word- worked on that. He's not one of the janitors. <laughs> Again, I work um, in I work in records, not sanitation. Like a DJ? God, I'm so glad. Okay, we just get, yes. we gotta get the rocks. Let's go get the. All right, rocks. go get the. Rocks. I I hang on. We gotta do one thing first. Oh, you have no. your theory. We gotta roll, baby. Oh yeah. Oh um, yes. So here's what I heard. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what is the phenomenon? You have used the fact that there is um, alien tech, which is both the obelisk that was is containing the temporal energy of the engine, as well as uh, the engine itself being able to time travel by by way of being able to fold space and time. So there's two clues there. Um, you how to contain the phenomenon. Um, by putting the obelisk back where it is supposed to go, uh, and um, uh, which is the source as well as uh, yeah, you use the source there, uh, and then you are going to you hope that uh, by doing this it will make Agent Infinity cease to exist as well. Um, that is your hope there. And there's something, uh, well, uh, and then you want to just in case we're going to kill Agent Infinity. That's right. You're going to take the you're going to take the the beat out of Agent Infinity's neck. Okay, great. Um, After you have set the the obelisk back where it is supposed to go and Mm -hmm. then obfuscating the situation, you want to um, use whatever remaining temporal energy you can in order to go back before this started. So nobody remembers this loop at all. So I believe that is five clues. I have the glass bead marked off. I don't remember how that came into your theory. Um, it's that just part, was of, part of what we were just bringing back to the ship. Does it have a specific purpose, or are you just bringing it back? We were to just the making ship? sure that everything that seemed alien in origin was returned to the ship. Wonderful. Um, I might say then that isn't only four clues that are explicitly used. Then I thought the glass uh, bead was like part of the obelisk. Is not no. Was that? Did it seem sure? like it was? It could be. Yeah, the energy seemed the same. Yeah, we're also yeah. using the rock, too. Yeah, yeah, the rock is the alien obelisk. Yeah, uh, oh, okay. In its entirety, um, but maybe the bead fits in there somewhere. Uh, maybe it's uh, like maybe the dot to an eye. It's like the dot to the eye. Sure. See, the way uh, I was imagining it, based on like the theory that we were putting together, was that the obelisk was like the core of this device and yeah. the the bead was like oh. more of like a control mechanism. Oh, sure. Okay. I, I took Those it. Those beads. Great. Explained it. Explained it away. I love it. Um, that is five clues then. So I will let you all decide who is going to roll those five dice and tell me what the highest number is. Who wants to take it? 
I want to go on another Johnny roller coaster. If anybody's down for that, <laughs> Johnny <laughs> does usually roll pretty well. <laughs> All right, I'm open to it. Let's do it. All right, I need to get one yeah, more dice. I only have four dice, so it's not going to be me. I have blue energy dice. A good omen, like, oh, perhaps. Okay, maybe got a gusher roll. How about how about this? I'll roll four because I only have four d six, and we'll, uh, Gus, you you roll. One of your Ooh. blue energy dice. Sorry. You've rolled the orb. It's the glass bead. The Please be so careful. About to fall. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're... All if right. you roll a one on that, I think we are legally obligated to reset the loop. That's how this works, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, all right. I told you this is the last loop, though. That's off the table. That's off, That's the, off table. the table. Come on, he's <laughs> really just trying to summon that dinosaur. That's what he's trying to do. What'd you get? It's a three. It's a three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. That means we have one, 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 two. Okay. Oh. Two threes, and another six. Oh, oh nice! See, let's go. A Johnny Button wow. roller coaster, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, the fast Real math bad. in my head where he was like two threes. I was like, is that four dice? How many dice is that? Uh, whoa. <laughs> wow. That could have been real bad, y'all. If you, all yeah. you rolled was one to three, that would have been real bad. <laughs> but as it stands with the six, the agent's theory is correct. You were able to answer, act on the exact answers they deduced. And when we cut to the action, the agents start from a safe position. Can we just uh, be set up in the ship then? Yeah. I Well, I here's there's got to be some tension. So I think okay. here's what it is. Um, uh, it, it is that you have you you have gathered uh, the the obelisk and the stones and put it together, and you are in the process of fitting the bead in the the small bead into the um, uh, the larger bead, uh, and um, uh, you are starting to set this thing into the center when. Uh, a figure moves down the staircase uh, and it is Agent Infinity. And uh, he looks at you, Big Mama, and goes, Stop! If you do that, you're going to kill us both and ruin everything. I'm, I promise, I'm you. I'm just no. you. Yes, I'm, I'm you. I'm me. I, we're both... <laughs> Us. I'm you from the timeline that shows transcendence as their paranormal power. Is that when I died in in Brooklyn? No. Was that oh. the dumpling shop? Sorry. No. That's the sad. We'll talk about that. That was like last week when you were cre when oh, this is gonna sound crazy. When Nick was creating you. He chose an ability that put him outside of time and space. And then he took it back. But in that moment, an alternate reality was splintered. And I was created. And I need energy, temporal energy to survive. Yeah, I mean, you're a paradox. You can't exist in any state where you wouldn't be feeding on temporal energy. I'm not. I'm you. Are you a paradox? Well, n technically, yeah. Right now, I am because you exist. This is really wait. Confusing. Is that you? No, he looks I'm, like you. It's not. He's not me. I'm me. Okay. He says I'm me too. Though. Maybe you're me. Kate Morris reference. Um, okay. <laughs> Here's the deal, right? What you said is crazy. You only exist because of a paradox. We're not both going to die after this. One of us will exist. Maybe yeah, some combination of us. If the paradox was going to kill either of you, we would, you'd both be dead right now. 
you wouldn't both be able to exist if that paradox actually mattered. True. I fucking hate time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is like the third time I've come up again. We've died multiple times dealing with this. Uh, here's here's what I want in talking to him. I need an action roll from you, Big Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think I think you are following all the beer directives. Um, I'm doing my best I, to contain myself. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I I don't know if background applies. I've watched a lot of time travel anime. Mm, no. I mean, nope. if you're dealing with yourself, how much for background nope. did you get? I've seen okay. the whole Bill and Ted trilogy at least four times. Dude, come on. <laughs> Those are the only movies Big Mama's watched. We haven't even gotten to that. Do you have any uh, relevant gear? Hmm. Laptop. <laughs> Not really. Paints. Paints. <laughs> <laughs> the cyanide pill in his tooth. Uh, and, and I, uh, your telekinesis might come into play. I'm, I'm willing to let you, you, you know, or tele telepathy. I think that may be something you could use if you want to. Oh, okay. Um, I will connect to my mind mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, just offer resolution, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, either we will both immediately um, uh, become nothing, or uh, just resolve into one being. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you can definitely mark resonance and and take a die for that. Cool. Uh, has anyone filled up the resonance track? By the way, I only got yeah. two. No, Not I've quite. been trying. I wanted to retroactively okay. use a t <laughs> t telekinesis, but I was like, that's cheating, isn't it? <laughs> to retroactively. I mean, we've still got potentially another mystery uh, after this, True. so you might be able to get another paranormal power that way. Um, uh, Big Mom, why don't you roll with those two dice? And and uh, the reason I was playing him sort of willing to listen to you is because you guys had a safe position. So he seems open to hearing from you. So yeah, I'm just like, our paranormal power is already kind of outside of time. Let's use it as a bridge. Whatever happens, happens. We've rolled yep. the dice before. Let's roll yep. one more time. Yeah. Five. Okay. Is there anything that can be done to help bump that up to a six for him? Is there any sort of help no. action in this? No. There isn't explicitly in the game a help action. And I think it's okay. I think it'll be okay. You he he looks at you and there is a, a a longing in his eyes like you realize in that moment, Big Mama, you have no idea how long he has been feeding off of these temporal bursts, how long he's been alone, how long he's been doing this he could have been doing this for centuries before anybody came around and he sees your sincerity and he sees that you are correct you, you'll you'll survive in some way somehow you'll survive and so he looks at you and goes take care of us and grips his neck and takes the larger bead out of his own neck and his body falls and the bead just rolls to your feet big mom carefully pick it up really quickly <laughs> yeah you pick it up um and there is a jolt that goes through you as you pick it up and then it dissipates and you put this bead into the slot in the obelisk and lower the obelisk down into the ground. And uh, there uh, is this buildup of energy and then an implosion of temporal energy as the last however many loops just get sucked 
back into this obelisk in the center of this engine. And then before you know it, it is calm and quiet. And the four of you are just sitting in this. Now this obelisk is lit up with blue and it's like flashing occasionally. And that is it. Well, should we go check on everybody? Isn't there a a good idea for watching yourself die? (laughs) Oh, yeah, there is. But you don't have to worry about that because I can fill out the form about watching you talk about talking about the form to watch yourself die. It's a thing. I'll get it done. You've been through enough today. It's 489-5B, and I think he does still need to fill it out. Uh, no, 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 you're thinking of 489-C, uh, 489-C, uh, C is for, uh, centered, as in centered on oneself. It's, a, it's okay. I, yeah. No, it's just, speaking on behalf of records, I know they're going to want a copy of his testimony of that specific event. And so I I understand where you're coming from. It, it's very, very, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's considerate of you, but, uh, yeah, no, we are going to need that form. Great. Okay. Uh, I'll help you fill it out. Don't worry. If I didn't have multiple felonies pending, I would not keep working here. <laughs> I just want to I just want to establish that for everyone. I just want to Do you feel okay though? Broad. Do I feel okay? Watch yourself feel... die. It's not the first time. Uh which makes it worse, I think actually. So I don't know why I pointed that out. Um what hurt more that or the tax fraud? Uh, the loneliness in his eyes. Oh. oh, that you know there is there is an employee resource group for that specific situation. You could I join know. it. I know it's been really helpful for a lot of people. They've sent a lot of emails. Yeah, I'll just go. I just I should just go. You really should use the EAP. It's twelve free sessions. It's very good. Hey, I don't know if this is gonna work, but. Uh, she produces a Ouija board from her purse, you know, because he's like kind of dead. Like maybe we could keep him like with us, you know. So he was still he, working on the soul theory. I uh, don't think he had one. Just throwing it out there. He also no, no, no. Was everything a... has a soul. Under Christ, all is possible. Please <laughs> take the board. He he was also a villain. It might not be a great idea to conjure the spirit of a time eating. Murderer? What if you're my first time? It's okay. The show got canceled for a reason. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I need to make one thing explicit. Uh, the consequence to the five was that there is a loose end. There is some temporal energy that still exists within your big mama. What that temporal energy will do in the future, who knows? But it is a loose end that you your team did not address uh it is uh a few hours later you're back in seattle across the across the lake there talking to savannah white uh and she's like all right that sounds interesting um i put that at about a six or a seven on on the, the more interesting missions i've i've heard uh, let's uh, make sure we do our due diligence. Why am I always greater the, than five? At this point, <laughs> it's at this point I'm going to ask the debrief questions uh, for every player that uh, answers no. You are going to mark a paperwork, unless one of you takes the sole responsibility for that. In which case, they will mark a paperwork and nobody else will. So Savannah White starts going through the checklist. She goes, "Uh, do you feel like you identified, contained, and obfuscated the phenomenon? Yes. Yeah. 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 It literally didn't happen in the proper timeline. Understand. That makes sense. Uh, Did you avoid civilian witnesses and secure all related evidence? Uh, Yeah, they didn't happen. Does the civilian witness thing, yeah, does that count if they have no possible way of remembering? 
I'll have to clarify that with HR, and I will get back to the four of you on that. What did you end up doing with the alien craft? Requisitions. R&D. I mean, I'm pretty excited to look at it, honestly, which is weird, but I'm I weird. do want to make sure it's clear that we are still waiting on the proper paperwork for that specific requisition. All right. I will make note of that in the paperwork. Thank you so much. Yes, like, uh, you told me expensively that I cannot work on it yet. <clears throat> did you cover up the identity of the phenomenon? Yeah. 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 Did you cover up the existence and purpose of the Bureau? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, pretty, Wonderful. pretty successful, honestly. Uh, did you avoid any, any civilian casualties and collateral damage? Yeah, that building's fine yes. now, right? Yep. Interesting. Yeah. Back to... Yeah. I mean, we really, we, we really reset everything to zero. It's negative one. Wait. Even. Do I, I look my age... <laughs> You know what's uh, weird is that uh, I'm gonna I'm Jonathan gonna roll a fortune roll. Is, the, is back to normal, but you are still there. No, I'm gonna roll a fortune roll for both of you. I'm gonna roll a fortune okay, fortune okay. roll for both of you because I, I think it's funny stay to, 15, to leave it up to chance. <laughs> stay fifteen. Uh, that is a one. So yes, uh, uh, Jonathan is definitely still fourteen, and Clarissa is seventy four. <laughs> She's not making it to this me- next mission. I just want everybody to know. You better get no. the heart monitors on her now. We have a fix for that. Don't worry. Um, I'm, I'm sure the Bureau has something to help you. As, I, as I yeah. would really I completely appreciate under- I completely understand that time has been reset. I have to ask the questions anyway. Uh, did you obey all sanctions and prohibitions placed on you by the Bureau? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did... All of the bureau members return from the mission alive. Hey, even Sh- Shale and uh, Wise. Shale and Wise, yeah. Wonderful. They didn't even know well, anything happened. Well, uh, I said. In that case, I think Shale, uh, kind of did. Shale. Yeah, I don't trust him. I have to commend the four of you on a, a job well done. There is one thing I would like to note though, which is that while most of the temporal energy appears to have been contained within the alien craft back at uh, Kingston, our team has still picked up some residual temporal energy. We haven't quite placed where it is, um, but it does not seem like you were able to contain all of the temporal energy. Uh, do you have any explanation for that? It's probably Shale. I mean, well, he was never then, affected by the. That was that was just my assumption. Well, there's there's also um, if you'll remember, uh, New Mexico in 1973. Uh, whenever there's a temporal event of this nature, there is some residual temporal disturbance that it, it tends to dissipate in you know roughly 48 to to 72 hours. But uh, there's no way for us to take care of all of it the first time around. It's going to take a little I... bit of time completely understand uh i'm not blaming you for anything but i will need you all to fill out the requisite paperwork stating that that is your assumption and should that change at any point uh that we will be able to contact you further is that so requisition form t uh double t 35 that is actually tr 35 ah okay okay um, so th- I mean that that form shouldn't be necessary. I do have, and I'm actually using my special ability to like this this actual connection to a thing that has happened before. Sure. What is a uh, what is so a once per did? session you may draw a wild connection between the current mission and a similar <laughs> phenomenon in the bureau's <laughs> records. It always holds a kernel of truth. Yeah, I mean here's the thing: the consequence was the loose end, and the loose end is that anytime there's a loose end, you got to mark a paper. So I'll let you hold on to that. Uh, that is just the consequence of the complication that was yeah. was already. Well, once permission, I didn't really use it, so I figured I'd sure. try. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, it's still funny in in narrative. I mean, it is very funny. Yeah. Hey, Roswell, <laughs> Roswell. Do you remember Roswell? <laughs> do you remember Roswell? Uh, do you remember Roswell? Than... Of course you don't. That was the point of Roswell. So that was the point of Roswell. 
Uh, even despite that, uh, fantastic job, the four of you. And should we need you for any other missions uh, in the future, we'll be sure to reach out. Sure you Ray, will. Can I can I ask a favor of you? Uh, we are done with our mission. Uh, if there is anything that you need of the Bureau for me to uh, contact uh, our, our, our department. I meant like person to person, not like Bureau. Uh, I do not fraternize with my employees, unfortunately. But I'm not your employee because I'm a different department. You just look so youthful and glowy and I'm just trying to... I, I need to know what your skin routine is. Uh... <laughs> Well, I have been doing this job for a very long time. Uh, some might be surprised that I'm one of... <laughs> I was trying to make a Vanna White joke, because it feels like she's been doing that for, like, way too long. How does she oh, look yeah. that good, too? Like, what? Yeah, it's unreasonable. It's unreasonable how good she looks for how long she's been doing that. Um, so, anyway. That, uh, uh, well, I guess we could talk about my skincare routine. Um, uh, the rest of you can go if you want, and we can talk about our skincare routine. Maybe She's no, but I'll just text you about it. Crap. That that's that's fine. Uh, yes. Uh, well, you can email me. Um, I, I don't give out my phone number to employees, even oh. if they're in other departments. Really, I thought your dead mama gave that to me. I'll just email you then. <laughs> um. She just starts weeping at the mention of her dead mom. Did did your mom have a thing for hands? Her hands look at you. I gotta, I gotta get my ankle brace back on, guys. I gotta... Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, and it okay, is bye. at this point... It is at this point that we look at how much paperwork you all have, which is just one paperwork. There's no effect. So there's no reprimand or anything for what you have to do for that. And we can just go but into do we get a downtime. Oh, yes. Uh, which one of you? So the team should nominate one agent to receive a special commendation as a result of exemplary service. Uh, and if the player accepts, they mark it on their character sheet. I mean, uh, so Savannah White. Savannah White will be like, uh, I would like to know, though, uh, before you go, uh, wh which one of you uh, stood out the most uh, and should be getting special commendation for this mission? Uh, Big Mama. Big Mama. Yeah, definitely Big Mama. Big Mama. Out of Wonderful. Wow. Thanks, guys. Wonderful. We'll see if we can get that parole down in a few years for you. I can't even get the brace off? No? Okay. Uh, we'll keep the brace on, but we'll see if Wait. we can take it off sooner. Yeah. Did you fill out the form for the ankle bracelet? Yeah, I can't take it off unless I turn in the form. <clears throat> um, they don't let me leave. I'm gonna, I'll talk to my bosses. I'll see what we can do. Fill out the next form to put it on. All right. Let's I start the downtime actions. <laughs> we'll probably have to finish them up again in the next episode, but I think we can get through some of them. There are a number of downtime actions you can do. Uh, you can do what's called conspiracy porn, which is super fun. You can basically just, like, add a fact about the External Containment Bureau and the world, the greater world. Um, you can file paperwork, although I don't think... Any of you need to do that, really, because you only have the one paperwork. You can requisition an asset. You can try and get the external ECB to give you something. Um, you can recover, uh, in which case you can clear resonance from your track. And then the uh, basically the, the catch-all is a long-term project. If you want to do literally anything else, we'll probably create a long-term project for it. You each get two downtime actions. What do you do? in between this mission and the next mission. Uh, Drake is going to recover. Okay. Tell me what Drake does to recover. Uh, so he, he uh, hunkers down in his small windowless office uh, with that beautiful fluorescent light. And uh, 
he has volunteered to do the whole, all of the paperwork for the entire mission on everyone in the group's behalf because he's he loves partially it. because he's not confident that any of them are going to fill out the papers correctly. But yeah, uh, <laughs> nope. not a chance. I love, I love it. I love that. That's that's to like say what your agent does to relax or feel more human, and that's what Drake does to feel more human. And relax. Uh, the only two ahead. documents. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and clear your residence track. Yeah, the only two documents Big Mama fills out correctly are the ones to get his ankle brace off and to get it back on because they literally will not let him leave without doing this. <laughs> without it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to do it. Uh, and then do you have a second downtime action there, Drake? Yeah, uh, I will start a long-term project. Yeah, what do you want to do? Um, so I, I'm so well acquainted with all of the paperwork for the Bureau that I'm confident that I can find a loophole that will allow Big Mama to fill out one sheet and never have to put the ankle bracelet back on once it comes off oh, after he submits the next time. Oh. I love that. I love that so much. Um, I think with you being in that, I think that's just a four segment clock. Okay. Um, so uh, that is going to be uh, a fortune roll. Um, which is going to be one dice for luck. And then I'm going to say that you're so well acquainted with forms and that sort of paperwork thing that like, go ahead and take another dice. Uh, so cool. roll with two dice and tell me what the, the highest number is. So four, I don't know if that okay. was a two. That's still, two that's two segments. Okay. So halfway. Um, wonderful. Uh, Ooh. who, who's up next? Who wants to do their downtime actions next? I'll do mine. Yes. Okay. You uh, have a special thing I will mention too. Oh. Uh since you have that commendation, you can start a long-term project and then immediately complete it with your special commendation. Cool. I was about to start one of those. Uh I well, I guess I don't know. I was going to requisition uh the ship essentially and like hmm. my like, Okay. Or at least the ability to work on it. Um Oh, I like that. Yeah, like I get scheduled time to go help that, you know. Okay. Alien engineers. <clears throat> yeah. Um and I will wanted to have that lead into a, a long-term project of studying the temporal energy to just sort mm -hmm. of zap uh a Clarice Clarice <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Clarissa. Yeah, Clarissa. Yeah, yeah. To the proper age. Sure. Yeah. Find a way to get Clarissa back to the proper age. Um, let's say that that's a six-segment clock. Um, and do you want to use your commendation to just complete that immediately? Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, what what is the item? How like what is it? Just like directing it. How do you direct this energy into Clarissa? Yeah, so I we had the sort of like the temporal containment device that we kind of used or that I brought up during the mission, um, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of a variation of that it collects some of the energy. Um, mm -hmm. uh, do not tell anybody about it and just collect some uh, very quickly. Big Mama has like I don't know has just like a natural affinity for this energy for some reason, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. understands it better than the rest of them. Uh, it's able to capture some kind of figure out, oh, you know, a sort of dosing mechanism uh, and just puts it into a, like just very poorly made handmade, like necklace, just. Oh, I love it. So, and it's just like, it's just a gift. Yeah. Clarissa, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she is in forever suit. indebted. Yes. She makes that very <laughs> obvious. You just, if you, like, it's one of those things where, like, I'm given time, like, w with my ankle monitor to, like, go and visit you and give it to you personally as, like, a gift. And I'm, like, really, just put, just try it on. I know it. Just please just try it on. <laughs> I also and feel like because she's so old, it could count as community service towards the elderly. <laughs> yeah, and that's like the loophole <laughs> to, to visit her. <laughs> uh, Claire, so when you put this necklace on, you find yourself back at the age you were before you went on this mission. Oh, this is a fashion accessory. It's never coming off. <laughs> that's that's oh. Will saying that. Not even Clarissa. Clarissa's not going <laughs> to yeah. acknowledge it. Just say thank you. We're going to act cool. 
The fans can't now. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not permit. It's pretty much done its number, but uh, sorry. Yeah. you could keep uh, it. Big Mama, you have a, what's your other downtime action? Um, yeah, just any amount of not having to be in. They, like he's not allowed like any electronics and like he's allowed yeah. a very short period of time to like connect to the internet and like look at things yeah so he just tries to not be in his small apartment so you know just uh, okay. keeps helping with the temporal the temporal project or you know any anything that he can help in r&d with um maybe that's a like a recover like something outside of work or yeah sure oh okay uh go ahead and uh clear your your resonance track oh cool uh jonathan or clarissa what kind of downtime activities are we, are we thinking about I'm thinking uh jonathan's just gonna recover just okay. by like going to work for the insurance company for a weekend just to <laughs> investigate some good old fashion arson just easy not having to worry about anything paranormal <laughs> it's gonna be kind of awkward because it's a 15 year old coming back to the insurance <laughs> office yeah very clear big mom does not fix that thinks it's too no. funny yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i also think it's too funny oh no it's perfect i want to keep this i drake and jonathan are the biggest nerds in the entire world and i love it i love it that's what they do to like relax but <laughs> yes please uh uh clear your resonance track uh and then let me know what your your second downtime activity is i should mention um, as well too that you are also able to work on on other long-term projects so drake started at that one to help big mama and there's two segments left if you want it to continue to fill that you certainly may or you can do anything you want gotcha um i think i think yeah i'll help i'll help drake out with the long-term project okay um like that. i i think you're it's a fortune roll you get the one dice for pure luck i also think that being in human relations and uh, you probably have some a, a better understanding of the records and the forms that need to be filled out than than other people so go ahead and take another dice for that roll the two dice tell me what the the highest is five a five that's also going to clear that's going to mark two segments that's going to clear that clock um, hey. and so you do you find a form <laughs> that big mama can fill that will uh allow him to take off the ankle bracelet he will not have to fill out the form to put it back on drake has never felt uh what romantic love is in his life but when nail showed up with the form he'd been looking for it's about as close as he'd ever gotten yeah <laughs> it's what is it isn't it that there's a parks and rap uh episode about like this right what yeah they, like oh, yeah they, like, yeah out form someone <laughs> <laughs> so funny so dumb <laughs> wonderful i love it uh clarissa what kind of downtime activities are we looking at okay so this is a conspiracy board activity mm -hmm. and okay yeah. for this next bit i would like to request that our listeners imagine they're sitting at a tea table with clarissa having like a brunch in new york city this is the only city that clarissa will tolerate babe the craziest thing happened to me I met this woman named Savannah Y. And if you remember about mm, 11 years ago, I my TV show got canceled. And there was these ghosts in that New York City train station that were giving everybody the heebie-jeebies and really making life hard for everybody, right? But so this Savannah White lady, which is the head of the HR of that place that I work in that I can't tell you about, but I'm telling you about anyways, you can't tell nobody that I'm telling you about it. So I worked there at this place, and Savannah White's mom reached out to me, and she was like, hey, girl, there's some problems. My hands are getting wrinkled. And I think those ghosts in that subway station are really messing with you again. And they're messing with me too, making my afterlife real difficult. And I suffered a lot in life, okay? I suffered a lot to give my daughter all those gowns for her job. And now it's all coming back to bite me in the ass. So I said, you know what, Savannah, I'm going to help you right now. Let's go to the subway station and figure this out. So I head down there to to figure this out and this is the portion where i get to roll my my fortune die to figure out what clarissa figured out 
Well, with the but conspiracy this... board, it's a theory role, so you get to just tell me right. what what you think is down there. What? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> what so, do you think down there? So, babe, here's the deal. I think that these ghosts, these ghosts are of old dogs that are really trying to get Savannah White because Savannah White's mom made a coat out of dogs. It was the strangest thing. And the reason she did it, the reason she did it is because her mom got pushed off of a pier by Dalmatians. Yeah. Yeah. So now she's going around skidding Dalmatians to make this coat. So I'm going to get in there. I'm going to put an end to these dogs making Savannah Watts' mom's life hard and making my life hard by extension because I want my damn TV show back. It has been too long since I've had the public eye on me. I want to bring TLC back. I promise you. All right. I I I have a couple thoughts. Uh, <laughs> the f- the first is I don't know how many dice to roll in this situation. <laughs> Say what your character sus- suspects about the world and make a theory roll. Pieces of the conspiracy can be previous missions, clues, NPCs, loose ends, etc. You get plus one die for each of these clues. You definitely used an NPC, so that's mm-hmm. at least one dice. And then everything else you just kind of made up on the spot, which is great. But I don't know how many dice to make that. But I use so, my backstory, right? So that okay, could be one. All right. Sure. Two. Two dice. I have um an, I have an, I have another idea. I have another okay. idea. I wanna know how would you think about this. Instead of making this a conspiracy board role, what if we make a long term project bring back TLC? Okay, okay. <laughs> But dearest uh, listener, I, we were still at brunch together. Of I course, need to make that absolutely. Very clear. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> when you concocted the idea of like, here's how I'm gonna get back on right. TV. Uh, I th- I think this is an eight segment clock. Because uh, <laughs> let's be honest, bringing back TLC is gonna take some time. They're not in the public hard. eye anymore. You're gonna have to do mm-hmm. some work. Uh, go ahead and make a fortune roll. I, you get one die for luck. Uh, I think you you have an advantage in this. You've got you've got Savannah White's and her mom on your side, uh, and and you have familiarity with the TLC landscape. So go ahead and roll two dice. Two, okay. okay. Two dice. Tell me what the highest is. That's a four. Okay, so, so it's two two segments. Two segments. Uh, now here's something you can do. You can do anything you want. You could also just make another roll to. Uh, get more segments towards this uh, bring back TLC clock. I'm going to do that again because okay. this is her life mission. So do I yeah, roll two roll, or one again? Roll two dice again. I think it's the same yes. situation. It might change okay. at the end of the next mission, but for now it's two dice. Uh, that's a three, so one. One segment. So a total of three segments on this eight segment clock. I think you're within striking distance, though. I think mm-hmm. uh, I think in the next downtime, if we get to it, you can you can maybe bring back TLC. <laughs> um, I would like to provide some closing some closing commentary for this brunch time session. Of course, girls. Do you know how hard it is to file paperwork the IRS when you're trying to get investors together? For a large television network, you have to disclose all of the assets given to you. And apparently, a ghost willed it to me is not a legal excuse to get $3.8 billion from a dead man. I mean, Jesus Christ, what is up with America these days? We are going on the wrong pathway. I need my money for this network. And it's it's just crazy. And girls, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll borrow a couple million dollars. I'll give it right back, I promise. And that's brunch. <laughs> And that's brunch. You you grifting your other gal pals out of a, a cool mill. Right. They're rich. They can take it. Right. Yeah, listeners, you're rich. Right. Uh, um, gosh, if our <laughs> listeners so. are rich. Yeah. If you're rich, please. We have a patron. All you um, need is the perfect pitch for the perfect TLC show, and they'll come right back. Just find the cross section right. between yeah. little ECB, people, the TLC people, show, and. <laughs> 90 day ECB. And mediums. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, friends. The New Jersey medium exclusively helps fat, short people. I don't know if that's going to work. I think we need more bearded women. <laughs> Little fat cake boss medium. <laughs> Just Ladies, do you know about this, this man, the cake boss? 
he died recently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a killing here. <laughs> um, there, there's a there's a new cake boss in town, and he's both huge and tiny. <laughs> <laughs> what a tagline! Honestly, <laughs> perfect. No notes. No notes. Uh, we've got we've got one post credit scene that we gotta set up the next little phenomenon with. Uh, because it, it it's a you know it's a, a few weeks after this phenomenon, uh, and this is maybe even the moment when like Drake and Jonathan uh, have have helped Big Mama file the paperwork. Uh, Clarissa is there; she's very thankful to Big Mama to to his help, and so she kind of hangs around. Um, and you're like sitting around; you're like maybe like sitting outside of uh the the steps to like the headquarters wherever you are and you feel something big mama your hand starts to like light up and glow and then that starts to expand and covers the four of you and when the light dissipates you are in a countryside there are there's like a small village that you can see in the distance and you have no idea where you are and then you see planes flying overhead planes that drop things from their bellies planes that are flying the nazi flag and we will discover where you are and what you need to do next time. Mm -hmm. I thought time. we were making a glitter tie-in. And <laughs> now... <laughs> now I don't know what's happening. Hey, maybe Big Glitter started in World War II. Again. <laughs> okay, well, what a week, folks. <laughs> Uh, wonderful thanks for great, coming good job there footy so uh, good so good <laughs> thank you for the gm oh, my. yeah thank <laughs> big you thanks to justin big a lot thanks of laughs justin. a lot of laughs this episode <laughs> um we will we have another phenomenon to uh discover and maybe you guys have to find a way back to the present era who knows we'll, we'll see what happens um thank you so much for listening to this and uh, we'll see you next week bye Bye. 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 See you.